Okay guys, like I promised, I said I'd show you guys, oh my B, um, I'd show you guys where I'm at and what it looks like instead of just the game. Uh, so here we are walking up to the chapel for today's video. Uh, it's actually pretty nice. Uh, I'll be sitting inside, obviously, it's kind of hot out today. Uh, I probably could use a little bit of the sun, uh, but I did lay out in the sun at the, at the lake house yesterday. Uh, was really uh, busy out and we were uh, spraying fertilizer to kill look at this hole that I almost just stepped in uh, we were spraying fertilizer to or not fertilizer saying spraying weed killer to kill uh, the weed or the what am I trying to say the uh, the sea we eat it's not seaweed because it's not sea but you know what I'm talking about the weeds in the lake so it wasn't really swimming uh, conditions in the water. I didn't want to go swimming with all that. Someone not picking up their trash, leaving a vitamin water, which I love vitamin water. Uh, but this is where I'm going to be chilling out in here. I actually could just stand at this podium here with my Mac and just kind of look out. But there is some seats back here, so that's probably where I'll be. Uh, got my Snapple and I'm ready for a nice little focus on the Snapple. There we go. I'm ready to uh, sit here for an hour or so and record. We'll be lured up, be incensed up, and let's see what we can catch. Hoping for a Vulpix. Okay, focus camera. Uh, hoping for a Vulpix, maybe some Growlis, uh, anything really. Anything not Pidgey, Weedle, Caterpie, Raditas. I know I'm going to find those, so uh, not really all that interested in those, but. Let me stop talking one quick view out uh, of the chapel and let's get right into the video. All right guys, so here we are at the lure location. Uh, let's go ahead and lure it on up. Actually, let me pop, let me pop the lucky egg first. Then we'll pop an incense. Pop the lure module and then give it a spin. Didn't get too much a revive. Okay, so we're starting it off with a Pidgey. Not anything too exciting. Uh, I probably won't show every Pokemon that pops up, but I will show a lot of them. Hopefully, there's not an echo in this building or this room. Kind of sounds like there is, but I don't think it's too bad. This bench actually isn't too uncomfortable. It looked like it might not be the most comfy bench to sit on for a while, but also I can stand at the pew thing if I want to. Uh, but let's just let's go ahead and catch this Weedle, I guess, since I always catch everything that spawns here at the very beginning, or I show you guys what I caught here at the beginning. Uh, and then I'll try I'll show some Weedles and some Caterpies and some Pidgeys or whatever. But all right, that Weedle's out. Alright, thanks Lure for a Weedle that ran away in two seconds. Uh, so, let's go ahead and see what we find here. Uh, hopefully, like I said, we find some of the good stuff uh, that's not super common without a Lure and an Incense. So, I can only wait and see. Alright guys, so after a lot of uh, Pidgeys, I think I got a bunch of Pidgeys and Weedles. We do have an Eevee here. So a little bit something different. Nothing too exciting has happened just yet. Uh, hopefully we can get some better Pokemon than... Hopefully Eevee is not the tip of the, the top. The top tier of what I catch here. Actually one Eevee candy away from evolving again. Uh, so maybe... I guess I'll take another Eevee so I can evolve. But... Other than that, I would like something non what I always catch. Like, can I get something new? I haven't gotten something really new or something really strong in a while. That's why I need to go back to the cafe where I can triple lure up and see see what see what happens. See what gets brought to me. All right, guys. So this is something a little bit different. I guess we've got a cocoon out here. I kind of wish it was a Metapod, but it's a Kakuna. Actually, they're actually kind of hard to catch. They aren't too difficult, but they aren't they aren't a pushover catch like... Okay, I say that and then I catch it on the first Pokeball. 
They're gonna push over like Weedles and Caterpies. But really haven't found anything of note that Eevee is still top in the charts as the best Pokemon we've found. So we're still holding out, hoping for something a little bit better to come to come up here. Hopefully, hopefully we can get something at least something unique. I don't know. I'll even take like a I don't know a Drowsy, even though I've got a ton of Drowsies. I mean, I take a Spe I take a Spiro badly because I can almost evolve to Fearo. So I take a Spiro. Uh, but there's just a bunch of little things that you know I could use that. The game just refuses to give me. Uh, but hopefully here in a little bit we'll find something a little bit more exciting. I ask and the game delivers. So we've got ourselves a Spiro here. I'm not going to go ahead and evolve into Firo. Uh, I will save that for the the video. Probably probably done on Friday. I don't know if that's when the video will go up, but that's probably when I'll do it after I've compiled all of the Pokemon uh, from work on Tuesday and Thursday from sitting out there and boosting. Uh, I think that'll be a good time to do some evolutions, try to get to level 23. We'll also have all the candies from the Chocolate Cafe as well. Weedle, I swear, just get in the Pokeball. Uh, I just think that's the most optimal time, and maybe on the weekends it'll always be the most optimal time. Weedle, we fine, run away. I don't want you at this point. Just get out of here. I think I can spin yet. So while I wasn't recording, I did spin it once, and I got a 5K egg. So we've got a bunch of 5-kilometer uh, eggs. We have 8 out of the 9 or 5 kilometers, which is always good. I like that. Uh, I do kind of wish I got some more 2KM two, two so I could get some more starter Pokemon, but... I can't complain with the 5km. We do have a Volpix on the screen now. Uh, I kind of want to go walk and try to find him, but there's no chance that I actually find him. Uh, so, yeah, let's just sit here and hope he comes to me, I guess. Alright, not the most exciting Pokemon, but we do have a Bell Sprout here at my feet. So let's go ahead. I guess I could turn augmented reality off and we could catch these Pokemon in the pews so I think that might be what we do from now on here to close out this video we'll catch all the Pokemon while uh, while looking out at the pews a little bit harder to throw Pokeballs this way but I think I can handle it and hopefully they all spawn in front and none of them are like to the side, because then we're just looking at a blank wall. Alright, Bellsprout. And, of course, that was actually a really good throw. Right down, right down on the old noggin. Are we, no, we didn't catch it again. Bellsprout. Get in the Pokeball. Ah, oh, there we go. That feels kind of nice. Nice little breeze blowing on through here. Thank you. There we go. There's my bell sprout. Now there are two Vulpix on my uh, on my nearby list, so we may uh, we may at the end of this take a quick little drive, see if I can find any Vulpix. Uh, probably won't record me catching anything else, but I might drive around the park once and see if I can find any Vulpix. And uh, I will do my outro before I do that, and I'll just say, you know, if you saw the Vulpix catch before this, I caught a Vulpix. If not, then I at least looked. Uh, but let's see if we can find at least one or two more Pokemon worth recording here before it's all said and done. Because all I've been finding is Pidgeys, Raditas, and Weedles. Alright, well, the sun disappeared, and in spawned a Paris. Ooh, a nice Paris, 408. I don't think I'm anywhere near a Parasect again. Didn't I just evolve to a Parasect? Uh, so this Paris will probably be outclassed eventually. And first I gotta catch him. Okay, how did that miss? Come back, there we go. Actually throw better curveballs. 
with this view instead of ah oh, instead of the augmented reality view. Come on. No, parrot. Fine, you know what? I'm just going to throw a Pokeball at you like that, except why do I always... I always try to do that with my thumb, and it never goes as far as I need it to. It always sucks it up. And the sun went under for a minute. It's back out now as we catch the Paris. 46... Okay, I actually am closer to a Parasect than I thought. That'll probably make a beastly Paris. Oh, another Spearow. Nice. I'm always happy to find Spearows over Pidgeys. It's just something different. And I need to get a decent Fero anyway. I'm going to have a bunch of now over 1,000 CP Pokemon, but nothing, like, worth anything. Like, I don't have, like, a 13. I have one 13. No, do I have two? I have one or two 13. I think I have a Hypno and an Electabuzz that are 13. 100 CP, but other than those two, we're really scraping the bottom of the barrel for even decent Pokemon right now. I'm hoping to make a really beastly Nine Tails, but I'm not sure that a I'm not sure that a 386 Vulpix is going to do that for me. So I'm going to probably have to get a better Vulpix, probably uh at least a 500, which means I'm probably going to have to egg hatch it or level it up pre-evolution, like before I evolve it. Uh, I'll need to get some extra, oh gosh, extra Vulpix candies in order to get my powerful Ninetales. Because, like, when the day, when it's all said and done, excluding legendary Pokemon, I would love to have a team that's Ninetales, Arcanine, Charizard, Dragonite... What the hell? A bee just committed suicide. Uh, Dragonite, Vaporeon, and probably Porygon or Aerodactyl. One of the, you know, one of the Poke Lapras. Oh, there we go. I want a Lapras. Which, you know, with this new setup with the wind, but with the, with the hunting on the side and the most wanted to the... To the other side, you guys can, you know, see what I want. Hopefully I can get some higher quality sprites, but those are the sprites from Pokemon X and Y. Uh, I'm hoping to get some sprites for uh, Pokemon Go as soon as they become available. Uh, I'll upgrade to those, but there aren't any good sprites for Pokemon Go yet. I'll assume it'll take some programmer or hacker, you know, maybe another month to get those sprites, but... Let's go ahead and call it here and see if we can catch something else. we got 15 minutes left. Uh, kind of went on a little bit of a ramble there, but got about 15 minutes left. Hopefully we can find something else. As we finally got something, we have ourselves an Abra. Uh, don't find too many Abras, so going to hit him with the Raspberry. I'm going to hit him with the Great Ball. Not even going to spin it. Just going to hit him. Hopefully the wind is not too loud. I can't really tell. Actually, I don't, I don't even think my, my, the audio is getting picked up for the wind. So that's good. So 26 Abra candies. Could get another, could get another Kadabra. Where is Abra? Where is Abra, Kadabra, and Alakazam? There it is. This Kadabra... Just is horrible, dude. Like, it just ain't gonna get it done. We might have to evolve this 319 Abra, which is gonna deplete all of my Abra candies, but I mean, that Kadabra is not gonna get it. That's gonna produce like a, like a six or 700 Alakazam. Like, that's just gonna suck. No one, no one wants that. Like, I want Alakazam, but that's just gonna be one trash Alakazam. So, unless I wanna waste. Plus, I want to spend a bunch of candies in Stardust to level him up. I mean, that's just going to be one crappy Alakazam. That's the issue with evolving too early. Is that you end up with these crappy second evolutions and you're like, well, it makes no sense to, to keep this crap. I need to evolve another one. But then I just lost progress towards the third evolution and it's, it's just an endless cycle of 
horrible. That's what happened with my gloom, or with my vial plume, the 1,000 vial plume that we have now. Oh my gosh, I had a, I evolved into one gloom, and it sucked. Then I caught a better gloom, and I was like, okay, that's good, I'll just evolve this. And then I got a really strong Oddish, and I was like, man, I gotta use this Oddish. So I evolved it, and that cost me 25 candies, and then I had to wait even longer. That's what sucks. That's what sucks. Uh, but let's see here, we've got about nine minutes left, so let's see if we can catch ourselves one more Pokemon, and then we'll go do a quick search for full picks. Okay, guys, so we actually found a pretty strong Venonat here, so we're going to try to catch this bad boy, get ourselves a nice Venomoth. Uh, I th what is my Venomoth now? It's like an 800 or something like that. I want an over 1,000 Venomoth, and there goes the Venonat breaking loose. And, of course, he goes for an attack. Get out of here, DraftKings. All right, there we go. There's a nice... Come on, buddy, give me a ah, Venonat. Just get in the Pokeball. There's another nice... Stay in the Pokeball. Stay in. Thank you. Thank you, Venonet. 38 candy, so we're 12 away from... Ooh, there we go. Speaking of Oddish, like I was talking about, we got an Oddish now. Oh, my God. Oh, my Oddish. Five... And I missed. 597 Oddish? Oh, baby, we're going to have one strong vile plume and 125 oddish candies. Oh, buddy, this is going to make one inc And I caught it in one Pokeball, really. <laughs> in, in, oh, at 121 oddish candies, we will have one amazing vile plume. That wasn't so ridiculously far away. All right, so we'll probably find one more Pokemon here. Uh, two more, probably. One from the incense, one from the uh, lure. Uh, so hopefully maybe one more Pokemon, and then I'll either show you guys me catching a Vulpix, or it will be the wrap-up to the video. Well, guys, we found a Vulpix! So let's go. And we have just started on the road around the park. Let me be smart. Raspberry. Uh, let's go Great Ball. Since these are important, I need to catch these. Hopefully the grate will be good enough to catch this. Come on, Vulpix. Yes, let's go. All right. There we go. One Vulpix down. Hopefully maybe throughout the rest of the park, because I'm going to drive through the whole park. Where we are halfway there, guys. Halfway to a Ninetales. Uh, so I guess I'll catch this Weedle real quick. Since I clicked on it. Uh, but we're going to finish the whole complete drive around of the park even those areas that are kind of off the beaten path. I'm going to do those quick. I still got a little bit of time before I need to be home or actually be out of the park. Uh, don't necessarily, I don't have to go home. I just got to go meet, meet a friend for dinner. Uh, but I do have some time, so we are going to drive around the whole park. Hopefully we can find a Vulpix, still one on the screen. So we will, we'll have. All right, guys. Well, this was not planned, but all of these 5k eggs are about to hatch. Let's hope for a Vulpix or a Growlithe. Those are the main things I'm wanting. Oh, no, this is a 2k. All right, well, I'll take... Oh, a 525 Charmander. Wow, that's... Wow, let's go. That is insane. We've got Vulpix popped up. We also have a Vile Plume now up on the map here. Uh, what am I getting to on counter... Okay, so we're good there. We got nine Charmander candies there, so that was really good. I had spent my three Charmander candies on this little guy, uh, which was a mistake. I, I know that now, but I didn't know that when I first got the game. I guess we can catch this Weedle here. Uh, so this video actually turning out a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be because we're going to have some other eggs popping off soon. So obviously I will show you guys uh, those when those hatch. Weedle! I ain't got time for this, man. Just stay in the Pokeball. Weedle? Weedle, you get one more Pokeball. Maybe two. Just be a good little Weedle. Weedle! I, we, okay, thank you for just running away. All right, so we're, let's continue our drive. See if we can find ourselves another Vulpix. I'd take the Vile Plume or the Magic Carp as well. 
All right, guys, we've got another Vulpix, so let's go ahead and catch it. This is not really a great spot to be sitting. Oh my gosh, it's a 10 combat power Vulpix. Let's go easy catch, baby. He'll probably break out of this and run away immediately. Yes, let's go. That's another Vulpix in the, in the pocket. There we go, 28 Vulpix candies. I guess we can catch this Weedle here while I move along in my car because I don't want to be sitting here. But this is Vulpix heaven, this park, and I am loving it. This park, my mom does have like a, a pass, like a year pass for this area, which I probably will bust out and use. Actually, people looking, people coming to the park, I'm assuming to run. Actually, I got no idea what they're doing. They're spraying something on their hands. It's, get, it's, getting, it's getting weird out here. I don't know what these guys are doing. And I missed this Pidgey. I'm probably only, probably only gonna get one capture attempt on this Pidgey. All right, Pidgey. Get in my Pokeball. Okay, good job, Pidgey. You're actually a strong Pidgey, so I'm surprised you went that easily. I'm gonna have to get rid of some of these Vulpix, so we are gonna be a lot... All right, here we go. Here we go with the train of eggs. This is gonna be five five kilometer eggs. Hoping for one Vulpix, maybe one Growlithe. Okay, so we got a Tauros. I don't know why I'm ha- Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 1,000 CP Tauros, and I have 59 Tauros candies. Also over 100,000 Stardust again after I spent. All right, give me... Okay, an Ekans. That's nice. I don't have an Ekans yet, so I'm actually happy about pulling the Ekans. I don't have a Lucky Egg on. Oh, well. 12 Ekans candies to go with it. Not bad. Okay, there's a Bell Sprout that I probably want to catch because I'm working towards my Victory Bell. Eh, not bad. I'll take an Execute because I can get an Execute. Oh, Ooh, that's a good Execute, too. All right, what do we got in this one? One, one full Pixar growler? Just one? No, not another. Unless this one's like, okay, another 1,000. I got no Tauros candies from that. There should be one more egg. No, no, not another egg. Huh, I thought there were five eggs that I was gonna hatch. All right, well, that wasn't bad. Didn't exactly get what I wanted, but wasn't wasn't bad we picked up some tauros candies as well as some executes which is nice because i want to get an executor because i've seen them be like beastly and we're about halfway there now uh but that's gonna that that's that part uh hopefully we can maybe find another volpix here on our way out but let's go ahead and see i guess i'll let you guys see me catch this weedle or not weedle I hate wasting a bunch of Pokeballs on Weedles. It drives me insane. Weedle, get in the Pokeball. Weedle? Okay, thank you, Weedle. All right, let's see if we can find ourselves another Vulpix. That's the dream right now. One, one more Vulpix. One more Vulpix. All right, guys, so we are heading out of the park now. I decided to do my outro here after I'd driven around the park once. And we were able to find, what was it, two Vulpixes, so that was really nice. I also found a couple of other Pokemon that were good. I found a Nidoran female pretty high. Uh, you saw those eggs hatching. That was really nice. Uh, and there was just some other... Nothing too crazy that I found, but a bunch of decent stuff. It's going to help me level up, continue that level up grind, as well as all the other stuff. And I'll definitely be back to this park maybe on Friday or maybe on the weekend. I'll head back to the park here so that we can uh, maybe finish up and get this Ninetales. Um, if I had longer to spend at the park, I think I could have gotten Ninetales today. But I just don't have the time, so maybe on Friday or something I'll come for a large, large block of time. Uh, instead of just a couple hours like I did today. Uh, but that's going to do it for this uh, episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys in next in tomorrow's episode. 
or it might be two days tomorrow tomorrow or the next uh we will have the chocolate cafe uh returning to the chocolate cafe so that should always be interesting but i'll catch you guys then peace out